Today on Stock Charts in Focus, we're kicking off the new year by hooking you up with every chart you could ever need. And you don't even have to create a single one. We're going to show you how in just a couple of clicks, you can discover a huge collection of pre-built, professionally designed charts ready to roll, ready for you to start using on stock charts. Now we're going to do this in sharp charts. We're going to jump over to ACP. We're going to do it in the advanced charting platform as well. We've got tons of sample charts coming at you on the show today. Lots to cover. Of course, you know what it is. It's all new. It's all here. It's stock charts in focus. my friends welcome to the show stock charts and focus of course our product focus show here on the channel where we dig into the site dive into those tools walk through those features and ultimately help you get more value out of stock charts that's our mission here every friday up on the stock charts tv channel my name is grayson rose director of operations here at stockcharts.com as always wonderful to be back with you and especially this week kicking off the new year with a bang here hooking you up with a huge collection of sample charts now, of course, my old college coach liked to use that saying, work smarter, not harder. That really is kind of the theme of today's episode. Work smarter, not harder. We've done a ton of the legwork to create some amazing charts for you. Uh, tons and tons of different strategies, styles, time frames, settings, all of that good stuff created for you. You don't have to do that legwork. You can take advantage of these different sample charts that we've put together on the site. They're great out of the box as is. You can pick these up and start using them in your own process. Or if you wanna use these as kind of inspiration, you can start with these charts, pull them into your own account and then customize them from there. This is one of the quickest, best, most powerful and easiest, most importantly, one of the easiest ways to get up and running with stock charts and to discover new charts that you might wanna bring into your process and bring into your approach. So tons to cover, really, really excited about this. We're gonna kick it off with our sample chart gallery, then we'll jump over to the new Sharp Charts workbench. We've actually built these charts directly into that new workbench. It's gonna be coming out later this month. Then we'll take a quick look at a little hidden gem that I wanna make sure you know about. That's gonna be our historical chart gallery, another great place to find some of those sample charts. Once we've done all that, we'll jump over to ACP, show you how these are built directly into our advanced charting platform as well. So lots to cover, we're gonna fly. Let's jump over to the site and get it going. We're starting off today's show from our charts and tools page. Of course, you can get here by going up to that top left corner, anywhere around the Stock Charts website, hit charts and tools. That'll take you right over to our directory of everything that is on Stock Charts. There is a ton on the site. Uh, it has been building here for uh, 25 years. We just keep adding new features and expanding uh, everything that we offer on the site. This is really a great place to come and kind of read up on everything that's there, uh, access different tools, and discover some of these new hidden gems that we have uh, on the Stock Charts platform. So as you scroll down here under the Member Tools section, you are going to see a card right in the center. This is something that we uh, that we rolled out last year. It's called our Sample Chart Gallery, and we like to expand on this over time. We're constantly adding new charts to this gallery. So if you look at it this week and you say, hey, okay, that's great. I picked a couple things up from there. Uh, and then you come back six months from now, chances are it's gonna look very, very different. We're constantly expanding uh, this gallery. This is how, where we're gonna start on the show today though, our sample chart gallery. So once you've located that card, just click explore, and that's gonna take you right over to the gallery. So again, the idea here is that we wanna do the legwork for you. We know that there's a learning curve to, uh, to setting up your charts. If you're new to technical analysis, if you're new to trading or investing, uh, some of these concepts that you've heard about, like relative strength, you might've heard of things like elder bars. Uh, you might've heard of different chart types like OHLC bars versus candlesticks, those kinds of things. Uh, you might've heard of that stuff, but it takes a little bit of time to kind of get up and running and discover those charts and build them on your own. So rather than make it uh, uh, you know, sort of all your responsibility to build these charts, we've put this sample chart gallery together as a place for you to go and just pick up charts and start using them out of the box. 
All of these are designed by us and our team, our team of contributors as well. You'll see that we've got a lot of uh, expert contributed charts in here uh, from folks like Dave Keller. Here's the John Murphy front and center up one of those popular chart styles. So these are really put together by our team of, uh, of experts and, uh, and everyone who knows the stock charts platform well. The very, very cool thing about these is that you can explore this gallery. You can actually click to preview them. And then once you're ready to start using one of these charts, all you've got to do is hit that blue button for any of these, uh, these sample charts here. And that'll take you over to a live version of that chart. From there, you can start using it just like a normal chart that you're used to using on the Sharp Charts Workbench. You could save it to your own account. Uh, you could save it as a chart style for future use, kind of a chart template that you can come back to. Or the really, really cool thing is that you can start to modify these charts, right? You can take some of these different samples that we've put together and you can actually use them as kind of a, a place to build from. Uh, this can start to power some of those different charts that you're gonna go off and create. So again, a great way to kind of learn more about technical analysis, exploring these things, but also if you're new to the stock charts platform and you wanna kind of get a, a nice leg up on the uh, sort of the setup process, this is a great place to come to actually discover uh, very, very powerful charts that are pre-built for you. And you can start to build on top of those, add other indicators, other overlays, change sizes, uh, change positions, different things like that. So we'll show you how that goes in just a sec. I'm kind of scrolling through here as I talk just to give you a sense of how much is here. But as you can see, we've kind of broken this down into different sections. So we'll jump back up to the top here. I'll scroll back up there and we can kind of talk through what is here. Uh, right up at the top, we wanted to give you some basic popular chart styles that we find a lot of our users uh, like to use. So things like plain candlesticks, plain OHLC bars, or even a simple line chart. We've also got a simple performance chart, which is a percentage version. So a couple little starters up there that you can start to build from. Then we get into some more classic, uh, more advanced yet still kind of classic uh, sample chart styles that we have, popular chart styles that a lot of our users like to use. Here's our kind of original stock charts classic with the RSI, a couple of moving averages, volume, and the MACD. And as you can see, you can click on any of these charts to expand them, see kind of a full sized version, uh, see what is on that chart exactly, and then close that back out and move on to the next one. You also get these helpful little descriptions that'll kind of describe you know, what is uh, included in this, what the time frame is, uh, what the indicators are, different things like that. So we start off with a couple of those popular chart styles that we've uh, that we've had for a very very long time. One of my favorites, I gotta say, is this moving average ribbon chart. A very very cool way to see trend. Uh, when you see this ribbon expand and contract, it tells you a lot about uh, you know strength of trend, but also direction of trend. Uh, so a very very cool chart that a lot of people ask us for. This is a great way to uh, to build something like that. You don't actually have to spend time setting up that moving average ribbon chart. You can just jump over here, uh, click that and, uh, and pull it right into your own account. After that, we get into specific strategies. So this is where we have things like trend analysis, volume analysis, money flow, momentum, and my personal favorite in this group, relative strength analysis. This is a very, very cool chart that shows you the stock versus the total market, the stock versus its sector, and the stock versus its industry group. Uh, this is kind of pulled actually directly out of my own approach. This is something that I use in my approach to, uh, to trading and investing. This kind of multi-panel view, uh, multi-dimensional look at relative strength. And so I get a lot of people saying, you know, hey, how can I get that chart? Well, this is the answer. You can just jump over to the sample chart gallery, uh, pull that into your own account and start to customize it just the way you want it. So very, very nice to, uh, to have that here. We jump into specific time frames after that. Of course, we've got uh, you know very, very short-term time frames like intraday price action all the way up to that longer-term monthly view. Couple of, uh, of common trading styles as well. So things like position trading versus trend and day trading. We've got a long-term investing chart in here that's very, very cool. Uh, has events and dividends. Uh, also some longer-term indicators. Here's Martin Pring's uh, KST, also the scooter on there. So uh, very, very cool stuff there. Then we jump into the experts group. So this is where we've actually reached out to the uh, the contributors here on the Stock Charts team, folks like David Keller, Martin Pring, Julius de Kempinar. Actually, my default chart is in here as well. So if you've ever watched this show and wondered about getting my chart, that is in here as well. 
Uh, but all of these expert contributed charts uh, are available in here uh, in addition to all of the other ones that we have in this sample gallery. So again, if you want to pick up, for instance, uh, Tom Boley's approach, you want to take the charts right out of his own account, you can do that. You can click into his preview and add that right to your own account. Uh, moving on from there, we get into some market analysis charts. Uh, this is where we start to get into some charts that are more kind of symbol specific. So we have, for instance, a classic intermarket analysis chart based on John Murphy's approach. This is one that I like to look at every single week. Puts a whole bunch of different asset classes uh, charted in percentage terms. You can actually compare the performance of, uh, of one to the next. Uh, you've got things like bonds, stocks, oil, gold, the dollar, commodities, uh, all of those packed into one chart. And then a couple of ratios on top of that. So how are bonds performing relative to stocks? How are gold, how's gold performing relative to stocks, commodities versus stocks, all of that packed into this chart. And again, you don't have to go create it yourself. You can just hit that blue button and start using that live chart. Uh, a couple of other great ones in here. Dave Keller, if you're a fan of his show, uh, he's got his market trend model, uh, a, a multi-view uh, PPO approach uh, to, uh, to identify kind of uh, long-term, intermediate-term, and short-term trend for an asset like the S&P 500. So very, very cool stuff in there as well. I love this offense versus defense chart. That's another one. Uh, and this is actually based on Arthur Hill's approach, the, uh, the five versus 200. Charts of a rolling five-day average versus a rolling 200-day. Uh, really, really interesting way to see kind of short versus long-term uh, price action. We get into a whole bunch of other groups, mutual funds. We've got a starter chart uh, for that. Bonds, here's a, a multi-view look at, uh, at bonds. Got different, uh, different yields on that chart as well. Then some very interesting things like breadth charts. We've got breadth for the NYSE and the NASDAQ, advancers and decliners on that. Uh, a a multi-panel uh, sort of look at uh, breadth on the NYSE and the NASDAQ here as well, and the S&P 500. This is looking at the percentage of stocks in the, uh, the NYSE above their 200-day moving average on top, and then above their 50-day moving average on the bottom. You can pull up those charts for the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 as well. Here's a classic VIX chart, kind of two spins on the, uh, on the VIX. And then into some, uh, some higher level economic indicators and some fundamentals, different things like that. Housing starts, industrial production, employment, unemployment rate, some things that you might not even know we charted on stock charts. So a great way, again, to, uh, to discover new charts, new styles, also new data that you might want to pull into your own process. So again, all of this is available right here in the sample chart gallery. And it's very, very easy to, uh, to add one of these, to start using one of these, or again, to start customizing it. So let's say for instance, you like that relative strength chart. Well, you can preview it here by clicking on the chart, but once you're ready to actually jump in and make that a real chart in your own account, in your own process, hit that blue button. You'll see that's gonna open right up on the Sharp Charts Workbench. Now you can use this as is. We can type in something like Microsoft, start to uh, to change the symbol. Now you'll see Microsoft versus the total market, Microsoft versus the tech sector, and Microsoft versus the software uh, sector. We could change this again to Goldman Sachs. Now we're gonna see the exact same thing, uh, but with Goldman. So again, these are real charts. It's a great way to, uh, to start with some of these more advanced charts that you might wanna pull into your own process. But again, you can then modify these from there. So let's say you wanted to come down here, you wanted to add the RSI at the bottom, Maybe you wanted to change this to be a blue chart instead of that green. You can do all of those different things and use this as a real chart. It's a great way to, uh, to not only uh, find these new charts, but start to, uh, to build some more complex charts without having to do all the legwork yourself. So that is the strength of our sample chart gallery. So hopefully that's given you a sense of that. Now, the really, really cool thing, though, is that we've got some big news, some big things happening this month in, uh, in January here. Uh, in 2024, we are going to be rolling out our brand new Sharp Charts workbench. So we'll actually jump back over to this, uh, this sample chart gallery. We're going to jump over to the members dashboard. And if you're on your members dashboard here under the member tools section, you'll see there is a link to new Sharp Charts workbench. If you don't see that, make sure that this technology previews button is, uh, is checked. Make sure that that is checked. That'll turn on those links for you. And you can jump over to our new Sharp Charts workbench. Now, we have a, uh, another version of this coming out, another update to this coming out in just a couple of weeks. Should be about a week or 
two away. Uh, a, a ton of new features, uh, and this is basically going to be released out into the wild for you guys to start using. The old workbench is still going to be there, so if you like that classic sharp charts view, don't worry, that is not going anywhere. Uh, but this new workbench with all of the new powerful features, things like colors for your style buttons, for instance, uh, we've got uh, different things like that. Uh, a lot of new new features uh, here on the workbench that we're so excited to uh, to deliver to you guys. Uh, that is going to be coming out in just a couple of weeks. The reason that I'm bringing this up is that one of the great things we've done with this new workbench is actually down below the charts. The new Sharp Charts workbench, the next generation of the Sharp Charts experience, brings in a lot more tools beyond just the charts themselves. So if you scroll down this page, you'll see that here at the bottom, we've got a list of uh, different features that you can access below your charts. Now, of course, we still have the uh, the classic look of that chart settings panel, kind of an updated spin on it, but all of your chart settings are here, uh, right below the charts. That's gonna be kind of your default view. But you have access to a chart style library, a new way to see all of your different uh, different chart styles that you've saved into your account. You've got access to your chart list, you've got access to alerts, and tons more features. This is also gonna keep expanding uh, as we bring more power features to the Sharp Charts Workbench. We're gonna pause here though on the chart style library because what we've done with this feature, with this little panel here right below the charts on that new workbench, we've actually taken all of those sample charts that we were just reviewing in the sample chart gallery and we built those right into the Sharp Charts Workbench. So by default, what's gonna be selected here are your chart styles. These are all of the ones that I've saved to my account. So the things that I use in my own process. But when you look for this little menu, this select library menu here in the top left, you'll see that you've got a whole bunch of different collections that you can open. So if we jump down to something like the popular chart style section, you can see all of those same charts, those little previews for those same sample charts that we were just looking at a minute ago, all of those are built right into the Sharp Charts workbench. That means you don't even need, here on this new workbench, you don't even need to visit that old Sharp Charts uh, sample chart gallery that we were just looking at. You can simply drop down to this chart style library here right below your charts and access any of these sample charts. Works very much the same. All you've got to do if you want to access one of these is give it a click and you'll see that that chart is going to be loaded right into the workbench for you. Again, it's a live chart. It's real. We can start to change our symbol. Let's say we want to jump over to Microsoft. Here we'll jump over to Goldman Sachs now. We'll do the same kind of thing. This is a real chart. And from here, you can save it. You can start to use it. You can create your own chart style with it. Add indicators, change settings, make it your own. If you want to use it as is out of the box, that's totally fine. But you can also use any of these sample charts uh, to, uh, to start to build in your own process and your own preferences. So all of those different groups are, uh, are in here as well. So we've got strategies in here. Here's that relative strength chart that we were looking at before. Again, you can start to customize this and, uh, and make it your own. But all of those sample charts actually built right into the new Sharp Charts Workbench. So this is available right now. You're seeing it on the, uh, on the live site. But we're going to have a big uh, update coming out to this uh, this page in just a couple of weeks, uh, making it more real. This new Sharp Charts workbench is coming at you fast. So uh, very, very exciting things happening here at Stock Charts early in 2024. Now, just to quickly run you through this before we jump over to ACP, I do want to uh, address kind of some of the different things that you have access to here in this chart style library. So first and foremost, you might notice this view as uh, toggle. So by default, this is going to be set into grid mode. That means that for any of these different groups, you're going to have a whole grid of these uh, these different sample charts. They're kind of compressed, kind of condensed, uh, so that they uh, they all fit together nicely. Uh, but you can also change the thumbnail size to see these a little better. So if you want them to be a little bit larger, you can have that go three across. If you want to see tiny, tiny little versions of them, you can drag that thumbnail down. So you do have a little slider to kind of uh, kind of work with those. You can also see any of these libraries though in list view, what we call list view. So when you pull that uh, pull that open, when you hit that list view, you'll see the, uh, the names of all of those different sample charts and you'll see a little preview over on the right. That's also gonna pull in that description. So this is gonna look a little more similar to the sample chart gallery we were looking at a minute ago. So for any of these, let's say you wanted Julius de Kempenar's chart, you click that name, you'll see that little preview, you'll see the, uh, the name of the sample chart if there is a description, you'll get that down below. And when you're ready to actually give that a shot, you've got a green button down here that says apply chart style, and that'll pull it in 
right up above. So you've got a choice whether you like the list view or you like the grid view. If you kind of know where you're going, I find that this grid view does a lot. It, uh, it works really well. If you're discovering things though, uh, this list view actually might be the place to be. So for instance, if you're in that popular chart style section, you wanna kind of learn a little bit more about what these different charts are, what's included in them, uh, this, uh, this list view is nice and helpful. Now, as you're hovering over any of the ones on the left, you can also pull those up uh, really, really quickly. If you know where, where you're going and you wanna just jump there in one click, you can hover over any of those, you'll see that little arrow and that'll just pull that right into the page. So nice and fast and nice and easy. You've got a couple options there in a list view but that chart style library very cool quickly becoming one of my favorite new features of this new sharp charts workbench that will be coming out very very soon again just to show you show you this one more time we're going to jump over to that members dashboard once you are here on this page uh, make sure that technology previews is checked and then you can open up that new sharp charts workbench uh, we are going to be adding more links in the next couple of weeks to make this thing a little more accessible for you so keep an eye out we'll have some big announcements on this show of course touring you through other features of that new workbench uh, making sure that you guys know how to access that new page it's coming at you fast like i said we've got just a couple more weeks until that thing rolls out so very very exciting stuff uh, happening here in january so with that out of the way, kind of covering off the Sharp Charts world, uh, I do want to touch on one last little hidden gem, uh, speaking of some of these sample charts. We're going to jump back over to our Charts and Tools page. And as we scroll down here, we've got one other great place that you should know about if you're interested in some of these sample charts. As you scroll down under the Reports and More section, you'll see a link to our historical chart gallery. This is another great place to go to get chart ideas, pull some things into your own account, save some charts without having to do any of the legwork creating those on their own. You've got a couple of different galleries to choose from here. And the idea behind this historical chart gallery, similar to that sample chart gallery, but all of these are gonna be long-term, very, very long-term looks uh, at different corners of the market, sort of important charts that you might wanna study, uh, not necessarily every day, but maybe every month, uh, maybe every couple of months, or maybe on the weekends. Maybe this is uh, the type of thing that you wanna sit down, study some of these weekly charts uh, as they go. So again, you've got a couple of different galleries to choose from. One of my favorites, I gotta say, is the four-year presidential cycle. So this is where we actually add in charts that are specific to uh, all of the different presidential cycles. A lot of talk on that. We've seen uh, the last, the latest presidential cycle play out kind of right along the script, the way that the market has moved uh, in uh, in the different years between the uh, the uh, elections. Uh, this is a great way, though, to go back, study history, study that price history, and see those different presidential cycles, see exactly how the markets have played out, uh, all looking at the Dow here, so it's nice and consistent through the entire group. You can go all the way back through all of these different uh, presidential cycles. So this is kind of the idea behind our historical chart gallery. We have uh, sample charts that you can, again, see right here on the page or pull into your account. For any of these, uh, you can actually click directly on the chart to, uh, to open that up. So a couple of different galleries that you can play with here. I also like the, uh, the market breadth indicators one. That's another one that I like to show people. Some very, very interesting things here. Uh, a, a long, long, long-term chart uh, of the, uh, the Dow Jones going all the way back to the 20s. And here you can see advancers, decliners, the advanced decline ratio down below that. Some really, really interesting things here. Unfortunately, we don't have time to cover all of these charts, uh, but another great place to, uh, to go and study some charts Another uh, kind of corner of the site that you might want to know about. Uh, again, if you're interested in any of these charts, click on in and uh, and you can use these as a starting place. You can pull them into your account, your account or start to build from them to get some ideas of uh, things that you might want to pull into your own stock charts account. All you have to do is give any of those a click. And as you can see, it'll pull those right over into the Sharp Charts Workbench. So with that out of the way, let's jump over to ACP, or Advanced Charting Platform. We'll take a quick look at the sample charts that are built into that platform as well. We've done a very similar thing, taking some sample charts that you might wanna use in your own process and putting them right into that platform for you. So we'll open up ACP here at the top of the page. We'll jump over to something nice and easy like Apple. Here on our advanced charting platform, on the left side of the screen, you have access to your chart templates. 
So we can open up that sidebar. It's going to be the second item down. Uh, and at the very, very top, the thing that's going to be open by default is a list of all the saved chart templates that you have in your own account. If you're an ACP user, you probably know this well. Of course, you also have access to those right up at the top of the screen without having to open a sidebar. Always like to point that out to people. Uh, but the first thing that we have in this sidebar is going to be all of your saved chart templates. When you close that down though, you'll see that below that, we've got a whole bunch of different categories that kind of line up with that sample chart gallery we were looking at at the beginning of the show. So this is where we've done the exact same thing. We've created a whole bunch of sample charts for you that you can start using right here in ACP without having to do any of this work to create these different things. So if we open up that sample charts, for instance, we've got things like a candlesticks only chart. If you want a very, very basic look, just candlesticks, you don't have to worry about creating that chart. Just open up that sample charts group and you can jump right in there. Here's that moving average ribbon. Another one that I love to see. Uh, another one uh, that I like to use in my own process for visualizing trend, especially over longer periods of time. So different things like that, again, built right into ACP here on the left side. We've even got some uh, indicator specific ones like a scooter chart, a Bollinger Bands chart. Here's one of my favorites, our anchored VWAP. That's the uh, volume weighted average price. You've got a an anchored VWAP chart right here in ACP. You don't have to worry about setting this thing up. You can start using uh, Brian Shannon's anchored VWAP in, uh, in just a couple of clicks. Uh, another one that I love is the rate of change chart. I like to use that in my own process to think about percentage moves over different periods of time. Uh, so lots and lots of different samples in here. We've done a similar thing. So we've got sample charts for strategies. For instance, uh, here's a relative strength chart. We looked at this one before. Here we're looking at it now in ACP. Going to look a little bit similar uh, to that one that we started with in Sharp Charts. We've got different time frames in here. We've got different trading styles in here. And then once again, we've reached out to the experts and we've said, hey, what are the ACP styles that you like to use? So we've got a whole bunch of different expert contributed styles uh, that you can put uh, right into your own ACP process. These are the templates uh, that, our, uh, that our contributors like to use here in ACP. So you can take a look at any of those. Uh, really, really great way to get up and running with ACP. Again, the idea is that you can use these as is or start to customize them. If you wanna take this relative strength style and uh, add some indicators, come over here to the chart settings area, change the color, change the time frame, different things like that, you can use this as a great starting place to create your own chart templates in ACP. Once you're ready, you've modified those, you wanna actually save them as their own chart template right into your own account, you've got that big green button down at the bottom of that chart templates panel, Hit that and you can save a chart template here in ACP right to your own account. So you can start to, uh, to use this in your own process, come back to it in the future with other symbols, nice and easy. Now really quick, one of the other cool things that we have in ACP are multi-chart layouts. So we've done a similar thing actually with multi-chart layouts. Here in, uh, in ACP, you can create layouts with up to 12 charts on the screen. If you wanna put four charts, all the same symbol, one daily, uh, maybe one intraday, one daily, one weekly, and one monthly chart, you can do those types of things here in ACP. If you wanna put a daily and a weekly next to each other with different sets of indicators, you can do those types of things here in ACP. Again, up to 12 charts on the screen. Now, we're not gonna review layouts in, uh, in full on the show today, we've touched on this in the past, but you can create any of those layouts, select the number of charts that you want on the screen, and then set up some of those different sync options, symbol sync, what applies to, uh, to the different chart panels that you have on the screen, things like that. There's a little bit of a learning curve, as with most things, to layouts. So in order to help you get up and running with, uh, with layouts here in ACP, we've also created a whole bunch of sample layouts, again, that you can use uh, out of the box. You can start to use any of these sample layouts in your own approach. So for instance, if Dave Keller's uh, market trend model resonates with you, if you've seen him using that on his show, the final bar up on our channel, uh, and you wanna bring that into your own process, we looked at this in the sample chart gallery. We've got a, a sample chart for that. We've also got a sample layout here in ACP that puts Dave's market trend model with the different securities grouped that he likes to, uh, to see 
right on the screen. So you don't have to spend any time creating a layout like this. We've got it built for you right in ACP. There is a huge collection of these different things. Uh, and we're, again, always expanding this. So it's always changing. We're always adding to it, doing uh, different, uh, different things with these sample layouts. So if you look at it today and you look at it six months from now, chances are those lists are going to look different. Uh, there's going to be new things that we've brought to the platform. So explore some of these different sample layouts here in ACP. Another uh, good example of us kind of doing some of that legwork for you, trying to help you work smarter, not harder, since that's the theme of our show. I got to say before I let you go, one of my favorites on here, the U.S. sector ETFs layout. This is going to put all of those sector ETFs, all 11 of those funds, uh, and the S&P 500 on the screen at one time. This is a great example of why these layouts are so powerful here in ACP. You can view all of the sectors of the market and the S&P 500 itself in one screen. And if you want to quickly change all of these to be, let's say, a one-year chart, well, nice and easy to do that. Make sure that apply style, apply range to all is selected, and then you can, uh, can change different settings for all of these charts at one time. You can also expand any of these. So let's say you like the way that communication services is setting up. You can blow that up, zoom into it, focus in on just that chart, move through time, do anything that you want with that chart. And when you're ready, you just drop it back down and you're back to your multi-chart layout there. So tons and tons of things that you can do with these layouts in ACP. It's a very, very powerful feature. And again, those sample layouts that we've built right into the platform help you get up and running with that tool. So I want to thank you so much for joining me on the show today. It's been a fun one touring you through some of these different sample charting features, helping you get uh, hooked up with all of these different charts out of the box. You know, we've done that legwork for you. Like I keep saying, uh, you don't have to spend time uh, getting up and running with all of these little different features. This is a great way to learn more about technical analysis, charting, investing, trading. Also a great way to learn the stock charts platform, pull these into your own account, study how they've been set up, start to add your own flair to those with indicators and overlays and settings and different things. It's a great way to get started with stock charts. Whether you're new to the platform or even if you've been with us for a long time, this is a great way to discover some of the other things that we have, some uh, some of the other data, some of the other features, uh, a great way to discover new things that you can do with the Stock Charts platform. So hopefully you've had some fun seeing some of these different features in action. Again, keep an eye out for that new Sharp Charts workbench. It's going to be coming out in just a couple of weeks. The old workbench is still going to be there. That classic Sharp Charts tool still going to be there, not going anywhere. Uh, but that new Sharp Charts experience bringing a ton to you. And it's really only the beginning. We've got some very, very cool things. Uh, we've got our, our roadmap for the year. I've uh, chatted with the team about what that looks like. And it is very, very exciting. I can tell you that. So lots of good things coming to Stock Charts here in 2024. Speaking of 2024, hope your new year is off to a great start. Happy New Year to you all. We're going to keep doing this show and all of the other ones that we do, all this great content here on Stock Charts TV. Going to keep doing this every week this year. So remember, like this video if you had fun with me today. Give the, uh, the channel a follow. Give us a subscribe and a thumbs up down below and everything helps us out. But uh, we've got plenty more content, plenty more things to do with you in 2024. We are excited about it. I uh, can't wait for a big, big year ahead. I uh, want to thank you again for joining me on this show. Remember, we do this every Friday, helping you explore tools and features and ultimately uh, trying to help you get more value out of Stock Charts. So that's what we're doing here every Friday, Stock Charts and Focus. Again, my name is Grayson Rose, Director of Operations here at StockCharts.com. It's been great to be with you. I'll see you again soon for another episode. But until then, chart on, my friends. <laughs>